So um, as always, go ahead and get started lying flat on your back. We'll take a few more breaths. So just take some nice deep breaths in through your nose. And ex as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under and press your back flat onto the mat so your lower back is pushing down onto the mat. And then as you inhale, just kind of let everything go. Start to introduce that feeling of engaging your core with your breath. And there's going to be a few different moves where I will say, keep that lower back pressed down. And we're actually going to start off our warm up today um, with a roll up and stretch forward just to kind of get our core warmed up and stretch out our legs a little bit. Um, so we've done these before, typically usually about halfway through, but we're just going to reach our arms overhead. We're going to start off by guiding our breathing while we do this. So our arms are going to come over around toward our hips. We're going to take an inhale here. And then we're going to bring our head, neck and shoulders up. Chin comes to chest. Take a big exhale as you peel it up off the mat. Come to a seated position. Stack your spine. Sit tall. Inhale here. And then exhale as you stretch forward toward your toes. And we'll just do about two more of those. So come back to seated, sit tall, stack your spine, tuck your tailbone underneath and slowly roll it down. These might not be as easy as they typically are when we do them halfway through the class, um, since it's the first thing in the morning. A nice inhale here as you bring your arms around. Chin comes to chest, lift your shoulders up. Big exhale as you slowly, with control, peel it up. Sit tall, stack your spine, inhale here, and exhale to reach forward. Take a nice breath here as you exhale again. See if you can get a little bit deeper into that stretch. And bring it back, sit tall, tuck your tailbone under. Feel that curve in your spine as you slowly lower it lower it all the way down and one more arms come overhead inhale here lift the shoulders up big exhale as we slowly peel it up back your spine up to seated inhale here and reach forward while you exhale Take one more nice deep breath into this stretch. And come back to seated. We're gonna stay seated here and bring our knees bent. So our feet are gonna come flat here. And we're gonna lift our feet up and balance here on our sits bones. Bring your arms out to your side. And we're just gonna extend them out as we lean a little bit further back and pull everything in and lift it up. So we're gonna extend and lift it up. This nice little boat pose here. You can go as slow as you need to. It's gonna be an inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. For four, three, two, and one. And lower the feet down. Arms out, slowly lower it all the way down onto the mat. We're gonna warm up our core a little bit more. So we're gonna bring our feet up into tabletop here. So knees are gonna come in a 90 degree bend. Um, so we're gonna be in this tabletop position here. Our right hand is gonna come behind our head and our left hand is gonna come up straight. And we're just gonna reach our left arm over to the right side and get a little crunch in there, but across um, over to the right side. So we're just gonna reach, reach. And you never wanna lower it down all the way here in between. 
It's just a little pulse up and lower. For five, four, three, two, and one. Switch your arms out, left comes behind your head, right goes up and across and reach. For four, three, two, and one. Lower those legs down, lower your head down. Take a breath here. Um, we're just gonna go into some simple bridges here. So feet are flat down on the mat and knees are bent. Your hands can be pressed down into the mat next to you for a little bit of support here. And we're gonna slowly peel our hips all the way up into a shoulder bridge. Really stretch them up high here. You wanna feel a straight line from your shoulders to your knees. We're gonna lower them down about halfway and lift it right back up. Lower and lift. You wanna keep your knees about shoulder width apart here so they're not flying out to the sides. For four more like this. Three, two, and one. And this time we're gonna lower them down halfway. And as we lift up, we're gonna lift the right leg up, bring our knee in toward our chest and lower it down with our hips and then lift them back up with the left leg. So it's just kind of like a march. For four, three, two, and one. And slowly lower it all the way down. Knees are gonna still be bent here. Um, we are gonna move into the 100. So um, several options here. You can have your knees out to 45 degrees. You can have them bent again, um, or you can keep one down and one up, whichever feels best for you. Um, but otherwise we're gonna have our legs, whichever position you choose, lift your head, neck and shoulders up off the mat. Arms are hovering a few inches at your sides and start to pump your arms up and down. And we're gonna inhale for two, three, four, and exhale for two, three, four, and inhale, and exhale, and inhale, exhale. See if you can lift your uh, shoulders a little higher. Inhale for two, three, four, exhale, and inhale, exhale, inhale for three more breaths. And exhale, inhale for two, and exhale, inhale for one, and exhale, and lower your hands down, bring your knees into your chest, lower your head, neck, and shoulders down, and pull your knees in for a nice stretch right here. Take a nice deep breath. And we'll just take a second here. If you need to roll around a little bit, massage your lower back. Once you're ready, we're actually gonna come to standing next here. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit. So come to a standing position here in the middle of your mat. My head is always gonna be cut off for these, either between my head or my feet. So um, we're gonna start off with about a little bit of a wide squat here. So our legs are gonna come toes pointed out a little bit wider than our hips. We're just gonna warm up with some wide squats, bring our arms up and stretch, lower and lift. All of your weight is in your heels here. 
Just get those legs warmed up. For four, three, two, and one. Stay up at the top here. We're going to stay standard. We're going to go into a side lunge to come into a curtsy lunge. So a side lunge looks like this. We're going to start on our right leg. You bring it out to the side. Right knee is going to come bent. Knee is not coming too much further in front of your foot. And we're going to sit our hips back. So it's almost as if I was trying to sit back on this couch. So our chest is still going to be lifted up. So we're gonna come into a side lunge here. We're gonna lift it up. We're gonna hold it up and lift that leg while all of our, um, while we're balancing on our left leg. And then we're gonna bring it behind into a curtsy lunge. So we're just gonna alternate between those two. Side lunge, come to standing, lift that leg in the middle. See if you can catch your balance. If you need to tap that leg down, that's totally fine. And then we're gonna bring it back behind, cross it behind us into a curtsy lunge. So side, hips are back, and curtsy. Good. For three, two, And one, hold into the curtsy, lower it down so that that knee is almost touching the floor, but not quite, and just little pulses down. For five, four, three, two, one, and lift it up, shake it out if you need to. We're just gonna move on to the opposite side now. So going on that left leg, we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna do a side lunge onto the left. So remember, we're sitting our hips back, chest is still up and straight. Lift it up, lift that leg in the middle and come into a curtsy lunge behind. You might have better balance on one side. Mine was the other. Take it as slow as you need to. For four, three, two, on one, hold that curtsy lunge behind and pull down and up for 10. For four, three, two, and one. Lift it up, shake it out. Now we're gonna come to the back of our mat. We're still gonna be standed here. So come to the back of your mat, or actually the middle is fine. Just stand long ways here. Where again, we're gonna start on the right leg. And we've done this a few times before. So we're gonna hinge forward at the waist first. Your arms can be out in front or at your sides, whichever is gonna help with your balance. We're gonna hinge forward and lift that right leg behind us. Slowly bring it back up and knee drive in front. So it's not too much of a range of motion here. As much as feels good, you don't have to go all the way back Do as much as your balance can handle. It's just gonna stretch back. Slowly bring it up, tighten your core along the way. This is totally a core move. As you keep that balance on the left foot. If you need to spot something on the wall or on the floor in front of you, that sometimes helps to balance. And 
And we'll just go for three more. Two. And one. Lower that leg down. Take out the left leg for a minute. And we're gonna again work off that right leg here. We're gonna lift it back behind us. It's just gonna be a straight lift back behind us. And we're gonna put a, keep a micro bend in the knee. Again, on this left standing leg, you don't wanna keep it locked. Give a tiny little bend in this knee too. But this knee is gonna be also straight back behind us, a little bit bent, and we're just gonna pulse it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. And we're just gonna bend the knee and extend it out. Bend and extend. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that leg down. Shake it out if you need to. And we're just gonna do the same thing, but switching onto the other leg. So giving that left leg a, bre a break, left leg is gonna be lifted now. So again, we're gonna get a nice hinge at the waist here. Chest is still lifted. Lift that leg behind. And knee drive up in front. Inch forward and lift. So it's really not mattering so much what your leg is doing here. It's more keeping your balance, engaging that core. It's really the right leg working more than the left here. For three, And one, lift that knee up, lower it down, shake out your legs if you need to. And again, keep that tiny little bend in the right knee as the right leg stays down. Left leg is gonna go behind us, little bend in that left knee as well, and we're gonna pulse it back. For four, three, two, and one. Lift, keep it lifted here and a little bend of the knee and extend it out. Bend and extend. For four, three, two, and one. And lower that leg down, shake it out. Last thing we're gonna do here, you can come back to the middle of your mat, facing forward here, is we're just gonna do a nice little narrow squat. So feet are not touching each other, but about right hip width distance apart. We're gonna squat down here. Try again to keep the weight in your heels so you can lift up your toes if you needed to. And stand it up. We'll go for five like this, four, three, two, and hold this last one down and little pulses down, down. For five, four, three, two, one. Last thing here, hold it here. We're just gonna pull our knees into touch and separate in and out for eight. Keep the weight in your heels. For four, three, two, and one. Stand it up, shake it out. <sighs> Feel free to get a sip of water if you need to, take a breath. Um, we're gonna move on into a plank series after this. 
So we are going to continue again, standing at the back of our mat. So once you're ready, we're gonna stand at the back of our mat here, lift your arms up. We're gonna reach down toward our feet and walk it out to a plank. And we're actually gonna lower down onto our elbow. So we're gonna be in an elbow plank here. Tuck your tailbone under so you're engaging your core. So your back is flat, hips are not too high or low. And we're just gonna hold here for 10. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pop it up onto your palm. So we're gonna lift ourselves up and stretch back into a nice downward dog position. Lift your hips high, lower those heels down. You can pedal out each foot one at a time here. We're gonna lift that right leg up. So lift the leg up and straight behind us and we're gonna bend that knee, bring it down and cross it over to the opposite elbow. And lift for two more of those. And lift and one more, cross it over and lift and lower that leg down. Stretch it back again into this down dog. Pedal it out one more time. And we're just gonna lift that left leg up straight behind us. Bring that knee down, cross it over to the opposite elbow and lift it back behind for two more and lift and one more cross it underneath lift it up behind and lower the leg down lower your knees down we're going to separate them out to the width of the mat and sink back into a child's pose here sitting back on your heels arms are straight forward feel that nice stretch Once you're ready, we're gonna come back into that elbow plank like we were before. Hands can be clasped together here if that feels good, or they can be flat down, palms down on the mat. So again, in that nice elbow plank, we're just gonna lower one knee down at a time. So we're gonna lower that right knee down and lift, and left knee down and lift. So keeping that tailbone tucked under so that your back is flat here, we're just dropping one knee at a time. For four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees down if you need to. We're gonna come onto a side plank on our elbow. So coming onto our left elbow here, we're gonna pop it up to a side plank. Feet are stacked up here. So we're on this uh, our left elbow. Right side is up and we're just gonna pulse our hips up. Pulse it up. You can raise your arm up or you can keep it on your waist, whichever feels better. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna take that top leg, so the right leg, we're gonna cross it over in front. So our feet are now kind of zigzagged behind us. Right hand is gonna come behind your head. And we're gonna, using that left leg, we're gonna bring the knee underneath, meet the left knee to the right elbow and bring it back behind. So crunch it in and bring it back. For four, three, two, and one and lower those hips down, shake it out. Those are not fun, I'll admit. We're gonna try it on the opposite side. So coming down onto the right elbow now. 
We're gonna lift up and here our feet are stacked for this part into the side plank on our right elbow and pulse those hips up. For five, four, three, two, and one. Keep them up here. Bring that top leg out in front so those legs are crisscrossed behind. Left arm goes behind our head and we cross it underneath. That right knee comes to left elbow and extend. Cross and extend. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lower those hips down. Shake out your arms or your legs, whatever needs it here. Grab a sip of water, whatever you need. And when you're ready, just meet me on your hands and knees here. Take a nice breath. So if you're here, you can start off with a few cat and cow stretches. Inhale as you drop your lower back. And exhale, round everything over, drop your head. <clears throat> Once you're ready, we're gonna tuck our feet underneath here so that we can lift our knees up. So we're gonna get a little bear plank pose, this is called. And we're just gonna walk forward two steps, bringing our knees closer to our wrists and then walk them back. So the knees are lifted about one inch off the mat this whole time. We're just walking our feet closer in, two steps and back, alternating which side starts. And we'll go one more on each side. So in and in, out and in and out. Lower those knees down, take a breath. So we're gonna be back um, on our hands and knees here. We're actually gonna lower down our right elbow. So knees are down, our left palm is up on the mat, but our right elbow is down. And we're gonna lift that right leg up behind us. And we're gonna drop it down over onto the left side. So right leg is straight behind us. Lift and drop it down onto the right side. So rainbowing that leg over the opposite one. We'll go for two. And one. Keep that uh, leg up and straight in the middle. We're gonna lift it up straight behind and bring it in, bring that knee toward your nose and extend it out long. In and extend. For four, three, two, and one. Keep it lifted here, lower down to both elbows now, so both elbows are down. We're gonna bend that knee and extend it up. Bend and extend, we're almost done here. For five, four, three, 
two, and one. Hold it here, lift it up as high as you can here, and we're just gonna hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, lift a little bit higher, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it all the way down. Open up those knees and sit back on your heels for another child's pose here. Take a nice breath and we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. So right elbow is down, um, right palm, uh, left elbow is down, right palm is up on the mat. Arm is straight, left leg goes back long. Cross it over to the right, over the opposite leg and rainbow it up. Lower it down on the left. Lift and lower. For three, two, and one. Keep it lifted straight behind us. We're gonna bend that knee in, round your back over, bring knee to nose, and extend it out. In and extend. For four, three, two, and one. Lower that knee down. We're gonna come down onto both of our elbows now. Left leg again is gonna come back and we're just gonna bend that knee and extend it out. Bend and extend. For five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, last thing here. Lift it as high as you can, straight back behind, and hold for 10. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that knee down and separate them out, sink back onto your heels for one more child's pose here. I think these are well-deserved here. Hopefully you're feeling that one in your glutes. And feel free to get another sip of water. We're gonna come back onto our backs here. So you get to lay down for a bit, sort of. Um, so we're gonna continue on our backs. Legs are gonna come up to 45 degrees here. Our arms again are going to be hovering for this movement. Um, you can lift your shoulders up or you can lower your head down for this, <clears throat> whichever feels better. Uh, but we're gonna keep those legs Together at 45 degrees here, we're gonna drop the right leg down to about a few inches off the mat, lift it back up to me, and then drop the left one down and lift it back up. Lower and lift, lower and lift.
for three. and one now keeping them pressed together in the same position here we're going to lower them down together and slowly lift them back up and lower and lift two more lower and lift and one more slowly lower it down and lift it back up bend those knees in stretch them into your chest lower your head down take a breath uh, and then we're going to the next move actually start in kind of from this position so we're going to lift up our head hands are going to still be around our shin, so both legs are pressed together. We're gonna extend our arms and legs out long, legs go out to 45, arms come up, and then we're gonna round it all back and bring it back in together. So extend and round it in. Extend. For four, three, two, and one. Pull it in, lower your head down. Next thing we're gonna do is, um, so we're gonna keep our legs pressed together. Knees are gonna come in, arms are gonna go behind our head. So our knees are gonna be pressed together here. Feet are gonna be pressed together as well. We're gonna bring those knees over to the left side, bringing them in toward our left shoulder as we're gonna cross over to the right. So we're gonna cross over all the way almost so that we can hook that left elbow over our right knee. And then we're gonna twist back to center, drop those toes onto the mat, and then twist it back continuing on the right side. So we're just gonna do five on each side here. So we're going to twist, hook that knee, lower the feet down, twist again to the right, lower it down for three, two, and one, lower those feet down. And now we're going to twist to the left, bring those knees over to the right side, hook that right elbow over the left knee. Lower it down for four and lower three, two, and one. Lower it down. You start to feel those really fast. I know. Next, we're going to keep those knees up and just start off into a regular bicycle crunch. So we're going to twist to the right knee while we extend the left and switch and switch for four three two and one hold on the right here and little pulses with the shoulders up for eight For four, three, two, and one, and switch over to the left, and little pulses up toward the left knee. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those knees into your chest, lower the head down, pull it in, take a nice deep breath. We have a few more moves here in this position. And then we'll finish up with some quick arms. 
So once you're ready, um, feet are gonna come, legs are gonna come up into a tabletop position here. Our head is gonna go, come start off on the mat, but we're gonna clasp our hands together behind our head here. We're gonna lift up from the shoulders as we extend our legs long to 45 degrees. While we're up here, we're gonna separate those legs and close them together and then bring everything down, bring those knees bent, lower the head down. So it's gonna be a lift, separate the legs, close and lower. So we've got two things going on at the same time. Elbows are wide. For four. Three. Two. And one, separate them, close together, keep it lifted here. And last thing, just little lifts with our shoulders up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the head down, pull the knees in one last time. Take a nice breath, take a sip of water if you need. Definitely getting our ab workout in today. I know I'm feeling it. Once you're ready, we're gonna move into arms. So we're gonna start off um, with some tricep push-ups. So take as much time as you need. We're gonna meet in this position here on our hands and knees again. I recommend keeping your knees down for these push-ups um, because it really helps you keep your arms in place. Um, but if you are feeling it and wanna pop up to your toes today, go for it. But otherwise, I like knees down and you can lift your heels up or you can keep them down, whichever feels better. Wrists are gonna start off right beneath our shoulders. We're gonna be, tuck your tailbone here so you can engage your core. Elbows are gonna be pointed back. We are going to inhale as we lower down, bend those elbows still back toward the room. So you wanna kind of feel them grazing against your sides as you inhale and lower it down and big exhale to push it up. Keep that tailbone tucked so that your back is flat here. Inhale to lower and exhale to lift. Inhale to lower and exhale to lift. Three more like this. Big exhale to lift. Two more. Inhale to lower and exhale as you lift. And one more lower and lift it up. Hold it here. We're actually gonna turn our hands inward now whereas before they were straight, we're gonna turn them in so that our fingers are almost facing each other here. Stay in the same position, keep that tailbone tucked, core is engaged, except this time we're gonna lower it down, our elbows are gonna go out to the side, so we're just working a different part of our arm. So again, we're gonna inhale to lower, and exhale as you push it up, engage that core on the way up. Inhale to lower, and exhale to lift. Four more, lower it down. Three. Two. And one. And come to seated, shake out those arms if you need to. Um, next thing we're gonna do here, you can either do it coming to standing. You can stand up here with your legs about shoulder width apart. You're gonna wanna keep your core engaged. So again, tuck that tailbone as you stand up. Or if you're not feeling standing, if you're a little tired, you can come onto your knees, sit back on your heels, whichever feels better. I'm gonna stay on my knees so that you can see a little bit better. But again, keep that core engaged here. So tuck that tailbone underneath. We're gonna start out with our arms 
out in front here, palms are up. And we're just gonna circle them out to the sides. Keep those arms long out in front. Really feel like you're getting a nice reach here. For six, five, four, three, two, and one, and reverse. For four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna bring our pinkies together and extend them out to the sides and lift here. So we're gonna bring them forward, reach our pinkies together out to the sides and little lift. For four, three, two, and one. Hold them out to the sides, and we're just gonna circle them back. Little circles, really feel that nice reach here. For three, two, one, and reverse. For four, three, two, and one. Lower them down, shake it out for a second. We're gonna hinge forward from the hips here. Arms are gonna go back, palms are toward each other, and we're just gonna push our arms back like we're squeezing something behind us, reaching those palms together. Reach. For four, three, two, one, lower the hands down at our sides. Also again, pointing back, pinkies are up here. We're gonna reach back the lift here. Get that nice feeling in your triceps. Lift and lift. for four, three, two, and one. And then last thing here, we're gonna circle them in toward each other. Circle it in. For four, three, two, one, and reverse for 10. For three, two, and one. Shake it out. Roll your shoulders forward and back. And we have a couple minutes left, so we're going to finish out with some teasers. So again, as you know, if you've taken my class before, I like to finish with teasers, something that if you do it consistently, you get stronger and stronger and you can see each week yourself getting a little bit better at these, um, which I just think is really cool. So um, a few different variations. Again, you can keep your uh, legs in a tabletop position. You can keep them straight up or out to 45 degrees, or you can lower one down and keep the other lifted, switching halfway through. Um, either way, your legs are gonna be in this position the entire time. So we're gonna start off with our head down. Arms are gonna be out long overhead. We're gonna take an inhale as we bring our arms over toward our hips. Lift our head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat and take a big exhale as we peel ourselves up to a seated position. 
Balancing on our sits bones, reach toward those feet. Keep your chest lifted here. And we will slowly lower it down, lowering all the way down to our head, leaving our legs up in that position that we chose. So we'll just do three more of those. Arms come overhead. Reach toward your hips. Lift that head, neck, and shoulders. Big exhale to sit it up. Reach toward those toes. Lift your hands. Lift your chest. Take a breath. And slowly lower it all the way down, vertebra by vertebra. Just two more. So you can switch out your legs. If you have one leg up, one leg down. Arms come over. Take a big, nice inhale here. Big exhale to peel it up. Reach toward those toes. Lift your arms up, lift your chest. And slowly lower it down. Last one. Nice inhale here. Lift head, neck, and shoulders up. Big exhale as we peel it up, reach toward those toes. Lift the arms, lift the chest, take a nice breath. And slowly lower everything down, legs come down, head comes down. Take a nice deep breath here. Take a minute, just catch your breath. Bring those knees into your chest, pull them in, and take another nice deep breath here. Roll your hips around a little bit, massage your lower back. Lower that right leg down, cross the left one over toward the right side and reach it out to the left. Bring it in, switch out those legs, lower that left leg down, cross the right one over, and reach your arm out to the right. Now we're going to extend both legs out in front, come up to seated, and we're just going to do one more inhale in a seated position, big exhale, reach toward those toes. Take another deep breath as you exhale, see if you can reach a little bit further. it up. We're going to stretch our legs out into a V shape. Bend that left knee. Bring the foot in. We're just going to reach our arms up and stretch over toward the right toes. Feel that nice stretch on your right leg and also on your left oblique. And we're going to sit up tall, switch out those legs, 
right knee comes to bent, reach it up and lower it down onto that left, toward those left toes. And sit it up. We're just gonna cross our legs in front here. Lower down onto that right elbow. Reach the left arm over. Feel that nice oblique stretch again. And switch it out, lower down onto that left elbow and reach. And as always, I recommend stretching as long as you need to, whatever feels good for you. Um, we did a lot of strength work, a lot of core work today. So make sure that you hydrate, eat a good breakfast, whatever you need to refuel throughout the day. Um, but hopefully you feel good, nice and energized, nice and strong. All right, I'm going to, again, just write my email into the chat box in case anyone does not have it yet and you have any questions. Um, always feel free to send me an email. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me. I hope everyone has a very nice and safe and healthy Thanksgiving this week. Um, I will be back next week. And again, throughout the semester, I'm not sure what the final schedule will look like. It may be a bit different. Um, so if you just check the website and the Instagram page, um, but otherwise, yep, I hope everyone has a great Monday and a great rest of your week. And thank you again for coming.